this module, we will learn about Salesforce Chatter and how to use it. Chatter allows us to do three things, drive productivity, share knowledge, and accelerate our innovation. It drives productivity because it allows us to connect, engage, and motivate employees to work efficiently, regardless of their role or location. It also allows us to collaborate on sales opportunities and other projects. It allows us to share knowledge by allowing us to share files and data, connecting with the staff and the faculty that support you, as well as your classmates. Uh, and it helps us accelerate innovation because it provides a forum for anyone to share insights or propose new ideas. You can even post a poll or a question for your classmates and colleagues. We believe that the more you use Salesforce, the more you'll grow to appreciate and use it. So to reinforce the importance of Salesforce, we won't use email to communicate internally within PES. Instead, we'll use Salesforce Chatter as our everyday tool. And just like Facebook, you can write posts on your personal feed or in a specific group, share attachments, like and comment, or even tag other users. It's really simple to use. Let's start by showing you a little bit around your Salesforce Chatter groups. Every student in the first semester will automatically be placed in a Chatter group per the classes that they are currently enrolled in, plus a group to communicate with the entire PES family. So if you have a question about the golf tournament or an assignment that's due for APS or an assignment due for digital selling, each question will go into the corresponding Chatter group. Let me show you how to find the groups. Now you can log in and follow along here. Log in to Salesforce and let's navigate to your user profile. Click on the circle in the top right hand corner of the page and click your name. On the right side, you will see a section called Groups and you can click on any of the groups you are currently a member of. Once you've clicked on the group for your first time, it will appear as a recent group on your Chatter tab. When it comes to creating groups, I would encourage you to do so for your own CRM or DSM teams. To do so, click on the little plus sign near the recent groups, pick a unique name for your group, for example, Fall 2020 CRM Team A, or a fun team name. Hit save and add your team members and team leader. This will be a great way for you to communicate with your classmates and go back and search for other information. One really key feature is being able to tag the users you want to communicate with or tagging contacts and accounts that you are referencing in a chatter post. Since we'll be using Salesforce to talk to each other, we'll tag the person we want to communicate with using the at sign. You can tag multiple people in a post. Once tagged, they will be notified with an email alert allowing them to respond back to you in Chatter. They will also receive an email alert with every response on the post that they are tagged on. Now, if you want to talk about a certain account or contact, you can do so using the slash sign. It's really that easy. You'll type slash and then the name of the account or opportunity you are referencing. We'll talk a little bit more about accounts, opportunities, and leads in the upcoming modules, but I do want to point out that you can even follow your own accounts, opportunities, and leads by clicking the follow button on the top right of most pages. For example, you'll see that this account page has the button. By clicking follow, it now shows up on my feed when there is an update or edit to any of the objects that I've followed. You can do the same by following other users in Chatter. You can follow your team leader, classmates, APMs, other faculty and staff members, and when they post, it will also show up in your feed. Now let's take a look at your overall Chatter feed. No matter where you are in Salesforce, the top navigation bar will say Chatter. So from now on, you can come here to see all your recent group activity, tags, and followed accounts, opportunities, and leads all in one place. You can reply, comment, and like different posts straight from your feed. Another useful feature is the ability to search for past posts. 
Simply type in the phrase you're looking for in the top search bar on Salesforce. Before hitting enter, click all on the left side of the search bar and switch it to chatter. Just like that, you can search for specific phrases, links, assignments, or due dates. As is always the case, remember that when in doubt, it's in Salesforce.